All right, here are the issues that I am encountering with the Porsche Durametric device and software. So, enthusiast version cable. Step one, we'll plug it in. Okay, that's plugged in. Okay, go into the computer. We'll turn the key on. Okay, all powered up. We'll plug in the cable. Launch the Durametric software. All right, the latest version, 65412. Cable is attached. Let's go to Porsche Cayenne. It's a 2006. Open. Now we'll just start with normal short test of all modules and we'll show you what happens here. Communicating with the ABS module, that's for sure. Light came on. And this is where it's been getting stuck recently is the currently processing Porsche keyless entry system. I've left it here on this screen uh, just a few minutes ago. I let it run and sit here for 30 minutes and it never comes back uh, with anything else besides the currently processing Porsche keyless entry. So there is a cancel button down here. So I would assume that you'd be able to cancel, but you will see what happens. So click on cancel, does nothing. Cancel again. Okay, now we have a spinning working wheel and the software is not responding. Pretty much at this point, we have no option except for close out and Durametric is not responding close the program now if you try to go back into Durametric now it will not open it just sits there like it's working never will open the software now if we unplug if we unplug this cable instantly loads the software so that's definitely a glitch but that's been since day one so try it again so we're sitting at this screen let's try it even a different way Durametric 6 cable is not plugged in okay let's plug the cable in still says down there cable is not plugged into computer so I'm guessing this will not work cable is not ready please check status in the status bar okay so you must have to close completely out of the software. Unplug cable. Plug cable in. Let's go back to Durametric 6. Okay, now it says it's attached. So it must only check for the cable when the software starts up. Which is kind of a nuisance, but we'll try it again. Not even gonna try a short test. Let's just try going right into the engine module. Let's try reading the engine module for fault codes. No fault codes. How about transmission? No fault codes. So it does read and communicate between the computer and the software and the vehicle. Um, now, poor stability management, this I've never been able to access. Flashing lights on the dash and ABS light's still on. Press brake pedal. Core stability management on. So it's attempting to access that module. Unable to connect to this module. So not sure why. That's been years since I purchased this cable. I've never been able to access that stability management system. I am able to access that stability management system with other scan tools, such as my Autels. Autel tools, I can access it with that, no problem. Um, I guess the biggest issue now is obviously getting into that stability management. It doesn't seem like it's possible. 
Now, just curiously, we've accessed these other modules and it's worked fine. Try instrument cluster. Oh, let's see. Successfully accessed the engine module and the transmission module. Stability management would not work, and now we clicked on instrument cluster and checked fault codes, and communication is in progress. Please wait. Doesn't seem like anything's going to happen here. Cable is still powered on and lit up. So how long should we wait? Let's see if we try clicking away from it, and we're back to software not responding. So close out. Let's try the short test just one more time, just for shits and giggles. Unplug cable, as we know the software will not open unless you cycle this cable in and out. Plug cable back in. Open the software, it says cable is attached. Over the Porsche 955. Short test modules. Flashing the dash when it tries to access the stability module. Looks like we're back stuck at this Porsche keyless entry. Like I said I can let it sit here for 30 minutes, but no sense in keeping the video re recording and running for that long because nothing ever changes. I've tried it once for 30 minutes, once for 10 minutes, and then obviously the time that we've spent on this video currently. And these are the results that I'm getting, so. Let's see, yep, can't close, not responding again. All right, let's close program. Cycle the cable, unplug, plug in. All right. Now let's go back in here. This is the only thing I have not tried, which I will try on the phone with you. Access it, cable is attached. So, I got Porsche keyless entry. I'm guessing that's probably in the instrument cluster. I do not see a specific module that's for Porsche keyless entry unless that's under alarm. Maybe electrical system, not very uh, detailed here correctly. So let's try reading codes from the alarm. That one seems to read. Let's try this instrument cluster again. Communication is in progress, process, please wait. guessing that we're not going to get anywhere here again. So for some reason this uh, my only issue at one point the software is very unstable it definitely does crash consistently ever since I've owned the cable but I used to be able to access the instrument cluster I am not able to any longer uh, still cannot access that stability module which I never was able to Used to be able to run a short test though and, and come back with everything, but it doesn't seem like I'm able to now, so. And here we are back at not responding again, so. So we'll close out, crash the software. And cycle that cable. I'm just curious, let's turn the headlights on. One more time, let's try that short test. Yes, workshop failure flash in there. It's attempting to access the stability module, just for some reason it cannot. And obviously this Porsche keyless entry isn't liking that either. Obviously I'm a factory factory Porsche key and everything like that has no codes no actual issues with this vehicle no check engine light when it's running anything like that 
no codes found with the other scan tool. So not sure uh, what the cause is of this, but like I was saying before, is that it's pretty impossible to get you a you know log file because there's really no way to save that log file, I don't think, when the software crashes. Because if we go in here, logging is enabled, so if all of that worked, then it would already have this. But it doesn't look like it saved anything from any of those previous uses it's just this one at 221 so this was just a second ago pretty much that it saved this one so all those previous times I attempted to run the short test I don't think that they are saved unless they are saved somewhere else because it's been enabled the whole time so the cables not plugged into the USB port Interesting. Cycled the cable like I have every other time. Unplug it. Plug it in. Cable's attached now. Let's see what it says for tool information. That is everything that's on there right now. Got 12 volts at the OBD2 port. Pretty good, much basic info there. Yeah, it looks like every time the software is restarted, it just makes a new log file, and then if the software crashes, it must not save the log file. At least it doesn't show it to me on this screen, so. One more time. See if we've got a lottery winner here. it's not going to go any further than that so that's basically where we're at with this cable and this software so not sure what else to try as far as getting it working obviously the cable like I said communicates with the vehicle properly and the computer communicates with the cable properly I would I'm not a software engineer, but I would guess, obviously, for some reason, this uh, software is not properly requesting the keyless entry system for my vehicle. So let me know what else I can do to try to send you the uh, information to get this fixed. Um, I did try opening those other files that you had sent. Actually, I can show you that really quick while we're still on this video. You know, it's getting to be a long video, but just wanted to show you the overall operation of how this works. So um, you had sent me those, I guess, test files. So let's go back into the software. Cable is attached. I guess we really don't even need to do that. We can do open ECU file. And let's go check out the ones that you had sent. Durametric tests. I'll start with 80. Okay, so that brings this up. And then let's try scanning it for fault codes. And it appears to... Appears to access it. Let's go to the identification tab. And I'm guessing that here we're gonna have the hang up. Mm. Yep. Yeah, software not responding again. So, looks like it was able to access it, but after using it, like I said, the software, it pretty much crashes on a regular basis. So. That's where we're at with it. Like I said, let me know what else I can do to help and send over the documentation or any sort of tests that you need done.
Thanks.